Carrier Amagandi Sutta The Brahmin Tissa Wild millet grains from grasses, highland passes, green leaves, tubers, and squashes. Eating these, righteously obtain the good. Do not speak lies, desiring sensual pleasures. But eating food well prepared, well flavored, given by others, presented with respect, delicious, enjoying a dish of fine rice, you eat carrion, O Kasapa. You said, O Kingsman of Brahma, carrion is not proper for me, yet you are enjoying a dish of fine rice well prepared with the flesh of fowl. I ask you about this matter, Kasapa. What do you take to be carrion? The Buddha Kasapa Destruction of life, beating, mutilating, binding, theft, false speech, fraudulence, and cheating studying useless subjects, resorting to the wives of others. This is carrion, but not the eating of meat. People here, uncontrolled in sensual pleasures, greedy for tastes, mixed up with impurity, who hold the nihilist view, warped, stubborn, this is carrion, but not the eating of meat. Those who are rough, violent, backbiters, betrayers of friends, cruel-hearted, arrogant, miserly, who do not give to anyone. This is carrion, but not the eating of meat. Anger, vanity, Obstinacy, recalcitrance, hypocrisy, envy, and boastfulness, haughtiness, and intimacy with the bad. This is carrion, but not the eating of meat. Those ill behaved, debt evaders, slanderers, crooked in their dealings, Dissemblers here, wild men who here commit wicked deeds. This is carrion, but not the eating of meat. Those people here uncontrolled towards living beings, who steal from others, intent on inflicting harm, immoral, cruel, harsh, disrespectful. This is carrion, but not the eating of meat. Those who are greedy towards these hostile transgressors, ever intent, who are heading the he darkness after death, beings who fall head first into hell, this is carrion, but not the eating of meat. Neither avoiding fish, and meat, no fasting, no nakedness, a shaven head, matted locks, dirt, or rough antelope hides, no tending the sacrificial fire, or the many austerities in the world aimed at, at immortality, sacred hymns, oblations, sacrifice, and seasonal penances purify a mortal who has not overcome doubt. One guarded over the sense doors should live with sense faculties understood, firm in Dhamma, delighting in honesty and mildness, a wise one who has overcome the ties, who has abandoned all suffering, is not tainted by things seen 
and heard. Thus, the Blessed One repeatedly explained this matter. The master of the sacred hymns understood it. The Muni, free of carrion, unattached, hard to lead, elucidated it with variegated verses. Having heard the Buddha's well-spoken word, which was free of carrion, dispelling all suffering, humble in mind, venerated the Tathagata, and right there declared he would go forth.